What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video in the College of Stripper Knowledge. I'm going to teach you guys about the five biggest lies that strippers tell customers, that strippers tell clientele when they enter the club. So if you haven't done it already guys, go ahead and smash that red like and subscribe button. I'm going to make you the hustler and prevent you from getting hustled guys. Alright guys, also down in the description below, there is a video that I did that was a big hit a couple of years ago titled Dating a Stripper, The Rules. Go watch that video, guys. Take some notes. Apply what I'm telling you there. You're going to learn, guys. Remember about these strippers, guys. They're toxic. They extort money from men. But most of these girls are super insecure and they're on medication. And if played right, it can be an easy friends with benefits situation, guys. But let's jump right into the video, guys. Starting out, number one. These girls are going to lie to you about their name. All these girls have at least two different names. They have their real name, which you'll never find out unless you have some serious action with her. And I'll tell you how to get that a little bit later. And then they have their dancing name. Guys, if she's named after a car, if her name is Chevelle, Mercedes, or Bentley, she's full of shit, okay? Her name's not Beamer. If she's named after a drink, such as Chardonnay or Tequila, She's full of shit. If she's named after anything to do with space, such as Star or Destiny or Neptune, complete bullshit, guys, okay? So, anyways, moving right along, guys. Number two, the second thing they're going to lie to you about, and I'm going to put two things in one right here. They're going to lie to you about their birthday and their age. A lot of times, guys, I've been in strip clubs in Miami, Florida, San Jose, Costa Rica, Tijuana, Mexico, Las Vegas, Nevada. It seems like every time I'm in a strip club, a girl does a dance, she gets off stage, she walks around to all the customers and she goes, hey, did you guys enjoy the dance? Yada, yada, yada. Can I have a dollar tip? Today's my birthday. Or would you like to go upstairs for a private dance? Today's my birthday. I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to have a good time. It's my birthday. Guys, it's not her birthday, okay? Her name is not Bentley, and today's not her birthday. So what I do to kind of combat that birthday situation, I go, really? Wow, I'd absolutely pay you a dollar or take you for a private dance if it's really your birthday, but how are you going to prove to me it's your birthday? And just sit there and just ask her how old you are. If she hesitates, guys, when you ask her how old she is, or ask her, what, ask her first, how old are you? And she'll say 24. She's probably 32, okay? Then ask her, what year were you born? If she hesitates right there, you know she's full of shit. Anybody knows like that what year they were born without hesitation. So you got name, birthday, and age. They're all going to lie about that. And a little bit later in the video, I'll tell you how to deal with all that. Guys, number three, she's not a grad student. She's not paying her way through college. She might have known somebody in her family that went to college or that was a grad student, but I guarantee to you, nine times out of ten, it's not her, okay? She's a stripper. She's a hoe. She likes easy money. No one's holding a gun to her head and making her go to work every day. She's doing it because it's easy, it's fun, there's no responsibility, and she's extorting money, and in some cases, a lot of money from very vulnerable men, okay? All right, guys, jumping down to number four, and this is a big one too. Today's her first day, or it's her first week, or it's only a month that she's been doing this. She's new to the stripper game, and she's just doing this to make some money, and then she's going to get out, she's going to go back to work in corporate America, or she's going to finish school, and she's going to move along up the ladder of corporate America and back to her professional life. Guys, that's not true. She's probably been doing this for years, okay? She does not have any investments. She does not have any money. She's got bad credit, okay? And she's making all this cash. It's easy money, and she's blowing it left and right. Now, she might tell you something like, I don't like this lifestyle. That's another lie, guys. I'm not going to count that in my top five, but I'm going to tell you when she says she wants to get out of this lifestyle and she doesn't like it, that's a lie. No one's holding a gun to her head and making her do this. Recently, I was in a strip club in Denver, Colorado, titled The Players Club. That was the name of the place. Great strip club, beautiful Latina girls from Columbia were in there. I happened to be talking to a girl from El Paso, Texas. And 
I was talking about all the guys that come in and want to be Captain save a They want to save these girls, rehab these girls. And I go, you girls don't want to be saved. She almost fell out of her chair laughing. She was stomping her silhouette, um, silhouette shoe on the ground, clapping her hands. She was drunk a little bit because I was buying her tequila shots. And she said, you know what? You're right. We don't want to be saved, okay? And that's 100% a, exactly what it is, guys. They don't want to be saved. All right, let me go take you back to the front of this video, how you combat their name, their age, and their birthday. Guys, if you can't get that from them, their real information, you got no play. How you combat that? She just asked them to see their ID. Oh, really? Your name's really uh, Star, and you're really 22 years old? What year were you born? Let me see your ID. If your name's really Star, if your name's really Chardonnay, then I'll buy you a drink or I'll take you upstairs. Guys, you'd be surprised how many of these girls will actually show it, okay? If they like you and you've got action, they'll show it. Then you get their Facebook account and you move down the road. Now, guys, let me be very clear, crystal clear here. The best thing you can do in a strip club is go in there, have fun, and leave. Smash and dash. Hit it and quit it. Do not get these girls' names, addresses, real phone numbers, texting, nothing like that, guys. You'd be better off walking through hell in a gasoline suit or jerking off with some sticker berries rather than dealing with these women right here in these strip clubs, okay? But if you think you're going to want to do it, and it can be fun, and I like doing it myself, watch this video over and over, pick up some pointers, and also go back in the description below and watch my video titled Dating a Stripper, The Rules. All right, guys, check this out. I've been going at it for about seven minutes. I'm gonna glance at my notes real quick and just make sure I didn't miss anything, and then we're gonna to go to work from there. All right, guys, the last thing I wanna mention, the fifth lie that they will tell you is that they are single. That is bullshit, okay? They might not have a boyfriend, but they definitely have a friend with benefits, okay? 100% they do. Guys, remember, girls have way more opportunity to have sex than men do. For example, I've said this before in other videos. These girls, if they were to walk in to a grocery store in the middle of the day and just scream, hey, I'm looking for a guy to have sex with, damn near every guy in the store would run up to her and be like, hey, I'll do it. Whereas if a guy walked into the grocery store and screamed, hey, I'm looking for a girl to have sex with, no girls would do it. And every single person in there would probably call the police on the guy and lock the guy up. I'm telling you right now, guys, women live in a world where they can absolutely have sex with damn near anybody they want to, okay? Anytime a girl, just think about girls that go out to nightclubs, okay? They can leave with the majority of the guys in there whenever they want to. Whereas a guy, on the other hand, you know, it's kind of hard to do to go to a nightclub in LA or wherever and talk to a girl and take her out and have a one night stand. I think it's happened to every one of us, but very few times does it happen. All the times you went out trying to hook up with a girl, how many times does it actually happen? Not very many. But with these girls, it happens all the time. So don't believe her ass when she tells you she's single. Let me tell you something else. The guy she's probably banging is not spending any money on her for the most part. Okay? He probably don't have a job. She's probably taking care of him. That's what these girls like. Okay? Every guy at these strip clubs are just giving her money left and right. And I know I'm kind of going out on a tangent right now, but these guys are giving her money left and right, giving her attention, trying to save her life. And that doesn't interest them because that happens to them all the time. What interests them is the guy down the street or the, her neighbor who doesn't pay attention to her, who doesn't give her money, doesn't return her text, doesn't call her. He just comes over, smashes and dashes. He hits it, he quits it. That's what interests him. All right, guys, let's go over these five lies one more time so you remember. Her name, okay? Her age, her birthday, she's not a student, she's not new to this profession, and she does not want to get out of this job, okay? 100%. Guys, if you're new here, smash that red like and subscribe button. I appreciate you attending today's episode of the College of Stripper Knowledge. We'll see you down the road, boys.